What is going on guys? Chris Barter the first here. Welcome back to another episode of Talking Trains. Today what we're going to be talking about is a special type of locomotive type that is uh, not the front of the train, not the trailing unit, but what we're going to be talking about is one of these bad boys. Yep, that's right, we're checking out the DPU, right here, on the Chris Bar the First Channel, on the Talking Train Series. Again, you're watching the Talking Train Series on the Chris Bar the First Channel. I'm your host, Chris Barker. Let's get this episode underway. Now, what are DPUs, and what are their purpose? Well, uh, back in, uh... I guess the late 2000s or before 2015 railroads used to have all their engines uh, in the front of the train pretty much some rare cases they would have them on the back but in uh, most of the time you would have like six freaking engines in the front of the train uh, like on the uh, on the front of the train yeah uh, right behind the lead locomotive you have all these freaking engines and uh, uh, it, it, it was just like wasting diesel, it was wasting, it was causing a big problem. So the railroad says, hey, you know what, we're going to change this up a little bit. You know, we're going to go ahead and modernize locomotives and we're going to make them into, um, we're going to make them radio controlled. And that's, this is how DPUs work. So basically, instead of having them connected up to an air hose, well, which they are connected up to an air hose, but uh, these trains are radio controlled, which means that you can put these things anywhere. You can put them in the middle of a train, half quarter of a train. You can put them at the very front of a train. You can put them at the very back of a train. You can even put them right before a little of like four cars past the lead locomotives. You can put these things anywhere in the middle of a train. You can put these anywhere in a train. Uh, it really doesn't matter. They do the same exact thing. Now, this DPU was a special one. Uh, this was the CSX 1776, the Honoring Our Veterans Unit, or Spirit of Our Armed Forces. Uh, this was a cool catch, but um, DPUs are, are a lot uh, modern. They get the job done, and again, it's more modern. And it's definitely a way for the railroad to get the job done. Um, there's really nothing else else I can say about DPUs. I mean, it's a DPU. Uh, DPU stands for Distributive Power Unit. Uh, it's basically a locomotive in the middle of a train being radio controlled. Um, by, uh... Really, I really don't know who controls these things, but uh, all I know is that they're radio controlled. I'm not trying to give false information, and I'm not going to, because I honestly don't know who controls these things. But I will do. I do know that these are radio powered and radio controlled, <coughs> given its names. <coughs> DPU. So. I think DPUs are really cool, and um, I definitely never seen these until like this year. I didn't even know they did this. This is brand spanking new to the railroad. This is like a couple years old, uh, because back, like I said back then, there would be like 10, uh, 10, 20, not 20, that's too much, uh, like 5, 6, 7 engines in the, on the front of the train. It was a little bit nuts. Some trains don't have DPUs, and they still do the same exact thing, like put freaking 10 engines, 10 to, or 6 engines on the front of the train, don't matter, hey, we don't care, but a train that has like 25 units behind it, I should say this now, with no cars is called a power unit, a, a, a power move, and basically it just transports locomotives to where they need to be, um, it's really nothing much else to say there. But uh, DPUs have a very important purpose on the railroads. 
and um, yeah, these things are, it's more modern, and it's a really good way of making a train stronger, and helps pull, make a train pull heavier loads, it, it really helps with that. So, yeah, that's all I can say about that. So, folks, that's a rundown on railroad DPUs. Honestly, I think the concept's really cool, and how trains these days can be remote controlled. You never know, one day, and honestly, it's kind of sad to say, but we may never need an engineer again, if this is what's going to be happening. You never know, it might happen. That's a scary thought to think, especially if you want to become an engineer on the railroad. But I do think a DPU is a good concept, and like I said, it is an easier way that the railroad gets the job done. So with that folks, that's a rundown on DPUs, and I'll say it, DPUs make railroad jobs a lot easier than what it would be without them. Thank you for watching.